Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Emerson. Today um, I'm going to read the book called Up, Down, and Around. This week on our Preschool Learn Board, uh, there's a lot of activities relating to flowers and trees and plants, so we're going to read a book related to that. All right, Up, Down, and Around. Ooh, look. These are leaves on the vines, look all twisty all around. They go up, then down, then around. Some good words to practice at home, too. All right. In the dirt, we'll dig a row, drop some seeds, and watch them grow. So you just see what the farmer's doing? What is he doing right now? He's digging. He's digging in the dirt. And then the little boy is planting the seeds. Let's see. The dirt piles the, uh, the dirt piles up. The seeds go down. Water splashes around and around. What's he doing there? <laughs> Look, he's pouring water onto the boy. How silly is that? He's getting all wet. Now the corn grows, which way does it go? It goes up. And carrots grow, they go down in the ground. And let's see, cucumbers climb around and around. You see they go all around the place, the cucumbers, all around. Let's see, we got peppers grow. And potatoes grow, how do potatoes grow? They grow? Down, they're going, you see, they're going down. And pumpkins vine around and around. Ooh, broccoli grows up. And ooh, beets grow down. And green beans wind around and around. Okra grows up, and onions grow down. And tomatoes twine around and around. Fresh and tasty, get a bunch. Pull some, pick some. Look, so let's see what they're doing over here. Oh, they're carrying some peppers, and they're pulling corn off. They're getting a tomato. Uh, looks like a watermelon they're picking. Look, he's pulling the, cra uh, the carrots out of the ground. Let's have lunch. Look. Oh. <laughs> Show you the last page again. Sorry about that. So the boy, they found out that some plants grow up in the, to the up and some grow down and then some twist all around and around. As it comes closer, as you, if you um, garden at home or mommy's and daddy's garden at home, as it gets closer to the summer, you'll get to see which plants grow up and grow down. But if you're taking a walk outside one day, you can see which plants are going up high in the sky or which ones are staying low in the ground. So one quick activity I, I did for you today, um, I, I'm gonna show you, is you can take a walk. I know how everybody loves to collect flowers for mommy and give them all to her. Usually they're the dandelion weeds. Um, well, you could take those and you can practice sorting them and sequencing them into shape, uh, into size. So you could start with all the big ones and then move as it goes from size to side, the big to smallest, all the way across the board. Um, and you could take your flowers that you find outside and do that. If you're able to find different flowers or you have fake flowers, you could sort them by colors. You could put ones that have similar shapes together. I only had access to these flowers today, so I did a size sequencing. So you could see that I have my tallest flower first and then my shortest flower all the way at the end. Sorry that it taped off. All right, I can't wait to see pictures of you guys sorting your flowers at home, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.